Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you here if this is your very first time. And welcome back if you are returning. I am so glad to be before you today to give you a little slay. Mm -hmm. I am excited and I'm definitely delighted to bring you a quick slay today. This is going to be a full glam, okay? I'm giving you eyes, skin, and everything, okay? Listen, I do apologize for not being here for you all that are here for this type of for those of you that love makeup, you love, you know, easy eye art, that's what I always bring to the channel, and I do apologize, but I'm going to get back into it, I'm going to get back into it, and I am setting a goal to make it weekly that you all get some makeup, some type of makeup content, okay? So, we're going to jump right into it, if you're interested in seeing what this turns out to be i suggest you keep on watching i'm giving you easy eye art my side by side method for my eyeshadow and a summertime routine that's like quick and easy with not a lot of product on my face so this is definitely brown girl friendly yes this is gonna be brown girl friendly showing you some eye art that will be easy for you if you have light colors can still pull it off if you are a darker brown skin girl okay but nevertheless let's jump into the look y'all so keep on watching all right eyes are prepped brows are done and we are going to jump right into it i'm just tapping it out the concealer that i use um to use for a base and i'm going to use the chocolates palette today by juvia's place and I'm also going to use the Topes palette by Julius Place. So the Topes is a little uh, lighter palette. But we're going to start off with the chocolate. Just to give some warmth to the eye. And um, you know be able to contour the eye a little bit. To make sure that the eye has some shape. And I am just placing this down in the outer V. And what I'm doing is I'm you know kind of packing the color on in the area that I want it and I'm using circle emotions now I know that you know it's going fast and everything but I'm definitely doing just that I am putting it in the spot that I want it and then I am using circle emotions to get it to blend out to um you know the pigmentation that I want and the areas that I want and you'll see me go back and forth with that first that brush that I was using just now tapping out the concealed areas the, the areas that are that's primed for my colors to make sure that it's not creasing you do not want to add colors on any type of liquid that is creasing because it's going to look creased so um but you can always set the uh base so you don't run into that problem but nevertheless um, I love my pigmentation to be you know really really true and I'm just picking up that color out of the totes palette and it's a light color so that's why I was stating earlier that this is a brown girl a chocolate girl uh, friendly tutorial when it comes to the eyes yes and I mean the whole entire face but listen use these techniques if you like um, it doesn't matter what your skin complexion is. But uh, I always teach when I teach these makeup classes uh, or do tutorials here on YouTube or lives on Facebook. You know, whatever you find is working for you, you know, try to stick to it. Because and, you, and, and then you can build on what you know, what you know works for you. You know, when you become an artist to freelance and you're doing um, your clients and things of that nature, now that's another level, okay? Because you know what work on you don't work on them. <laughs> Just so you know that now, what, what what works on you may not work on them, and so um, you have to learn to get basic products that you know really really work well to just you know be able to do all that but that's a whole nother video y'all i'm using this brush right here to pack on that shimmer that i was pointing at and i this is a really really cheap brush from dollar general y'all it's probably a dollar i love this brush 
the bristles on the brush they pick up the color and I really like using it when I'm using a shimmer and that's what I'm placing down in the uh, front and so as I stated earlier that I'm using my side by side technique is because I'm placing all the colors right next to each other and this makes it a little easier than having to do all that you know crease color transition color lid color you know that can be a little bit more work in my opinion when I put them side by side I you I do less blending so to speak when it's side by side but nevertheless y'all I think the eyes is is good they, they're good so I'm going to the skin now I'm using this little Ioni cosmetics that you can pick up at Dollar Tree it's a face finishing spray setting spray and I always use setting spray at the beginning of my skin because it's gonna allow everything to just kind of melt into my skin so I'm using this hard candy primer right here and this is for sensitive skin I'm telling you y'all if you are an oily girl okay like myself this will hold you baby listen I got this from Dollar Tree mm, I did don't sleep on Dollar Tree y'all nevertheless I'm putting that primer all over my face you know getting it in especially the areas that's really really you know oily I'm using this Belief Beauty Chestnut Foundation it's a skin light foundation this is my fave y'all I've been using this probably since maybe 2020 ish probably yeah this is the foundation that I always use if anytime you see me in front of the camera this is the foundation baby you see it be skin like right <laughs> it is normally skin like I'm telling you I love it and I'm using this elf concealer it's a 16 hour camel concealer and it is in deep chest I think and this is my trusted old black radiance 8003 concealer stick y'all i've been using this concealer stick whoo 10 years yeah at least and i am just you know that's what i said earlier you know if it were living listen stick to it if it ain't broke don't try to fix it y'all when it comes to your skin when it comes to your skin don't be out here trying stuff and then it ain't looking good and you done took pictures with your friends all that to get together to party to cook out whatever photo shoot and now you not looking all that good in your pictures because that camera will tell it so i'm pushing all of the products normally y'all i will use a different brush for each thing but not in this video i was at work really trying to get this in because i wanted to get this in i wanted to get this content in for you all because it's been so long now I'm going to set everything. I'm using this uh, loose finishing powder by Maybelline in 35. Okay, that's the number it's in. I love this. It's this, this is nice and fine. And I am setting under my eye down the bridge of my nose. I like to go on the bridge of my nose a little bit heavier. And I'm coming in and I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics. This is a pressed powder. This is in 255. This is the darkest powder that they carry. I've been using this product for probably about 10 years as well. And I am just contouring, setting the contour where I use that Black Radiance Concealer stick. And I'm just going with that powder, pushing it in. You know, I'm not, you know, swiping or nothing like that. I'm pushing it in and I'm using that same powder press powder 255 and contouring my nose going down the sides of my um nose and underneath that front of the brow and right now i'm just brushing out that brow to you know smooth it out blend it out all the product that i used and um i didn't do the brows on the camera so i'm sorry y'all but listen little little things like that is coming back to the channel okay so you know stay with me now I'm using this Soft Focus by Black Radiance. I've had this for a long time, closed up and sealed in the pack. Haven't used it, and I'm going to use it 
and because I have been using it and I love the finish on it. And I'm just setting my entire face bringing everything together, bringing all those powders together. And you want to set your entire face with the color of your foundation. You want to use a powder that's the color of your skin. And I pushed all of that in. So that's bringing me back, okay? That's pulling me together. And this Wet and Wow Illuminating Palette right here. This is from BH Cosmetics. I had this probably about about 10 years too y'all this is old okay but i love it i mix all four colors together and i am putting it on the apples of my cheeks baby and i am brushing that thing up a little bit on my uh nose right there down the bridge my cupid's bow above my lips and yeah i'm gonna use this blush right now this is the bella blush by juvia's place love this and I'm just gonna blush myself up right under that glow and you know in between the glow and the um, contour and now I'm taking my powder brush that I use all over and just blending that out making sure that it's just not sitting there setting my face with this Nicka K illuminating gold baby this is gold in a bottle oh I love this stuff I get it from my beauty supply store and yeah, we're going to come back with the finished look. So y'all have to tell me what you think in the comments. But we got to put the lips on. So I'm using the Wet n Wild uh, Cold Eyeliner. Cold, I mean, cold Pencil. Okay. It's uh, um, I think it's an eyeliner pencil. But it's a cold pencil. And I'm just, you know, making sure that I contour my lips. I am just getting in the sides. I'm kind of going deep in the little corners, the little V's, because I kind of just want to take this next product here. This is an LA Colors from Family Dollar in the color fresh. I love this lip gloss. Oh, ooh, ooh, this is, <laughs> I got it for $1. It's normally $2, y'all. It's probably higher than that now. I don't know, because I had it for forever several of them because i love it so much but yeah that's it baby let me know in the comments what you think what you think tell me what you think i love it it's soft it's natural it's gorgeous it's ready for any type of situation thank y'all so much for watching bye bye